This year at Balloon Fiesta, a group of balloonists took the field for the first time without someone special. A friend and longtime balloonist who participated in Fiesta for nearly the last 40 years. News 13's Marissa Lucero reports. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Balloon crews have a special bond. Today is a perfect day that they hold on to for years. It happens when people come out ballooning. They get hooked. <laughs> That's what makes this year at Balloon Fiesta so bittersweet for the friends of Norman Looper, who are used to seeing him out here every year since 1979. Fiesta is just something special. Looper did it all. He started out crewing before getting his wings, and his friends will tell you he was a fine pilot. I was Norm's first crew chief and first student pilot, so Norm's very special to me. Looper and longtime friend Bill Dickey not only shared a passion for flying, but they had other interests that kept their friendship strong. Well, we met him through ballooning, uh, and it turns out Norm and I were dating two girls that were best friends. One of those girls was Paula High Young, who Norm married. She says she still remembers his first balloon, Brigadoon, and jokes about vying for Looper's time. It was funny because when he was teaching me to fly, that was his baby. And then I was his baby. Looper passed away last month after a long year with cancer, and it's not easy to forget he's not here. But it was like the day or two after that that um, I thought, oh, I got to find out which launch grid Norm's. Oh, wait, his launch grid is in heaven now. This fiesta, his ex wife shows off his pins and medals he collected over the years because this year they're flying for Norm. Norm felt the same way I did. It was just a special place to be. and. Uh, uh, Norm will be missed, and but uh, Norm's here with us now. Marissa Lucero, KRQE News 13. Looper will soon have his own plaque in the Balloon Museum.